What's up, YouTube? It's your boy DR2727. Shout out to my Transformers clip. It's one to a scale clip or whatever you clip. Shout out to you. And this month's video for February 2023 is our annual Transformers MP Hall of Fame Awards. If you're new to the channel, every year on Super Bowl Sunday, we do a Transformers MP Hall of Fame. And that's where we award figures that we feel a hall of fame worthy we let them into the transformers mp hall of fame and right now we're only doing it for the mp scale but hopefully we're able to expand the other scales and with you guys' help in the community i'm sure we'll be able to expand the multiple scales because you guys did an amazing job this year of voting for what figures go into the mp hall of fame this year thank you guys so much for voting i really appreciate it i didn't even expect this big a turnout thank you thank you thank you and also if you're new to this whole concept the twist with our MP Hall of Fame is that we compare each figure to a Hall of Fame athlete and use that athlete to describe the figure and vice versa and why they deserve to be in the Hall of Fame. Our first Hall of Fame inductee and the headline of this year's class is Takara Sunstreaker. And for this sports comparison, this doppelganger, I'm going to use Emmett Smith because I think that Sunstreaker and Emmett Smith share a bunch of similarities. First, I think that they both were key in restoring the glory days of their respective companies. Emmett Smith was key in restoring the Cowboys back to their glory status after decades of just being an average to so-so team. And Takara Sunstreaker was key in bringing back Takara as a company, the reputation of Takara as a company. I think that, you know, for the Cowboys, it was the 60s and the 70s that were their heyday. For Takara, it was the MP10, um, the Soundwave, the MP11. That generation of figures was so iconic. And I think that they fell off at the time, just like the Cowboys fell off in the 80s and kind of in the 80s. Takara fell off with the iron hide, the shockwave mode, and I think that their reputation took a hit and third parties started to creep up and catch up on them and even surpass them in some ways. And I think that this figure was the figure that brought them back and said that we are here. They did everything they wanted to do with this figure. They nailed the sculpt, which really was that switch from, you know, kind of realistic to ultra tune and robot mode, but still kept the license and kept the realistic vehicle mode. It gave you the articulation you wanted, plus a slew of great accessories. And it, you know, to quote my boy Transformers Toy Talk, shout out to him, check out his channel. This is the greatest MP Takara has ever created. And it gets brought up a lot of times in the conversation with greatest MP of all time. Just like Emmett Smith gets caught up, brought up in the conversation a lot about being the best running back of all time. Now, I don't know if it's the greatest MP of all time, just like I don't know if Emmett Smith is the greatest running back of all time. But you can't have a Hall of Fame without Emmett Smith, who's the leading rusher of all time. And you can't have an MP Hall of Fame without Takara Sunstreaker, which is probably Takara's best figure of all time. Our next inductee is X Transbots Klaatu or their version of Cosmos. And you guys really shocked me with this. I always thought this was a good figure, not necessarily a great figure. And that's why I'm going to give this sports doppelganger to newly Hall of Famer Scott Rowland, who I thought was a good baseball player, but not necessarily a great ball baseball player. I think that, well, let me give you his stats. He was a rookie of the year, a World Series champion, a seven-time All-Star, and an eight-time Gold Glover. And he's known specifically for how great a defensive player he was. And I think that this is kind of a testament to what's going on around you, right? Like, he's a Hall of Famer because baseball wants to keep steroids and everything out. I think that Klaatu is a Hall of Famer because the bar for edge trans bots is so low that they finally gave us a good bot. And they did the things they normally do good with this bot. The accessories are good. The paint are good. Paint is good. The materials got a lot better. The bill which separates this from a lot of Edge Transbots toys is infinitely better than it normally is. But, you know, it just like Scott Rowland never was a top five MVP candidate or maybe one time, or, you know, in his generation, you didn't, he don't jump out at, at you when he played. Klaatu doesn't jump out at me and when I think of Hall of Fame. He had that big backpack, like, where they just didn't know what to do with it. I mean, he's solid. Scott Rowland is solid. Klaatu is solid. Next up is Fans Toys Quake Wave. And his athletic doppelganger would be Lawrence Taylor. And if you don't know, Lawrence Taylor was a linebacker for the um, New York Giants. And he is known for being a revolutionary defining player. He was a linebacker who won the NFL MVP. He's only the second ever to win the NFL MVP. And the most recent two guy to win the NFL MVP. And he is credited for changing the way that the position of linebacker is being played. And how offenses treat linebackers and how defenses coach linebackers. He won three defensive player of the years, 10 um, straight Pro Bowls. I mean, he's just considered by most the greatest defensive player of all time. And I say I'm using him as the doppelganger for fans towards Quake Wave because I feel like much like LT 
change how defense the game is played. Quake waves change how third party figures will look at, especially in the MP scale. Like before third party would just like add on kits, chug figures, some special kind of effects and stuff like that. I think that this really gave the credence to whoa, third party can really do an MP figure. This was Fans Toys' first real figure release, and I think that it caught everybody off guard, just like LT caught the league off guard. I think this figure caught the Transforming MP community off guard and the Transforming community off guard in general. So I, I got to say that this is the comparison. If you want to use one word to describe both of those, it's timeless. Quake Wave is timeless and LT is timeless. You can go put his stats up against anybody nowadays and he still holds up. Just like if you bring Quake Wave out and put him up against any figure today, he still holds up. Our next Hall of Fame inductees are the Giga Power Dinobots. And for their sports doppelganger, we're using the Atlanta Braves 90s pitching staff because just like the Braves pitching staff was consistent of three future Hall of Famers that made a Hall of Fame group, I think that the Giga Power Dinobots had some ind individual Hall of Fame famer figures that made a Hall of Fame group. And if you look at Gig the Braves, the Braves had Maddox, Smokes, Glavin, who were all individually really good in Hall of Famers, with Grimlock, Snarl, and Sludge being Giga Power's Hall of Famers, along with a pretty good swoop and an okay slag. And just like the saying is, the whole is greater than some of its parts, it's easy to say that when the parts individually are Hall of Famers, just like the Braves pitching staff and the Giga Power Dinobots. And our final Transformers MP Hall of Fame inductee is Fans Toys Phoenix. And his athletic counterpart is Tim Duncan. And I selected Tim Duncan for a couple of reasons. I think they share some similarities. First, they both of massive fans. Toys Phoenix is the biggest MP that's not a combiner. Tim Duncan is a center who masqueraded as a power forward. But more importantly, I think that neither one of them get the credit they deserve consistently. Whenever we bring up who's the best MP of all time, I always hear fans towards Road King, fans towards Quietus, fans towards Galvatron. MP10, MP44, MP36, Takar Megatron. And I never hear this guy brought up as much as he should. And I hear people bring him up every once in a while, like the true aficionados. But he doesn't get brought up like he does. Just like when you ask who's the best NBA player of all time, you'll hear Jordan, LeBron, you'll hear Kareem sometime, Wilt, you'll hear Shaq, you'll hear... Everybody but Tim Duncan. And the true aficionado is to bring up Tim Duncan. He's a five-time champion, a three-time finals MVP. He is a 15-time all-star. I mean, his list of accolades goes on and on and on and on and on. And fans towards Phoenix, you know, he brings everything to the party that you want. His biggest flaw is that he didn't have a waist swivel and the first version didn't come painted. Just like Tim Dink Duncan's biggest flaw is that he basically is called a big fundamental. His game wasn't flashy. He just did everything right, but he didn't do it with any pizzazz. So even though they didn't paint Phoenix, they remedied that with a second version that added this, that paint and that pizzazz fast fans towards his known for. And though he, can't, he didn't have a waist swivel, I don't think that's something that prevents him from being in the conversation of greatest MP of all time. Just like for Tim Duncan not being flashy or playing in a boring city, no offense to my San Antonio people, I think that it is not an argument against him being the best player of all time. I think he definitely has an argument for being the best player of all time. I think that Phoenix has an argument for being the best MP of all time. And finally, we want to give a Lifetime Achievement Award to MP10, Optimus Prime. And we just want to acknowledge that without that figure, none of this would be possible. I think it redefined, you know, what Masterpiece was, what Transformers was, what Transformers Collective was. And its sports comparison can only be one person. And that's Muhammad Ali. They both are the greatest. They both transcend, you know, for Muhammad Ali, he transcends boxing. For Prime, he transcends Transformers and just toy collecting in general. And he rep and he is part of you know American and cultural fabric. And no better representation of him than MP10. So that was our 2023 Transformers Hall of Fame inductees. Thank you guys for watching. As always, let us know what you think in the comments.